For a local league to take on an issue, you have to study the issue first before you take positions. And um, in the late 1980s, because of Marge Hospodar, who was a member who came from Oak Park, Illinois, and encouraged our league to look at groundwater in Joe Davis County, and then in 1991, um, there was also an issue over a landfill and because we had studied groundwater we could take a position about that landfill. We had town meetings all over the county and we got the attention of the EPA and they came out and checked it and the interesting side story is Beth was working as director of development for the city of uh, Galena so they shut down that landfill uh, because it didn't have a good clay lining and it would seep into the groundwater. And so that was the end of the Chicago garbage coming here. And we have the EPA and Beth to thank. <laughs> So on the basis of our interest all along here for a couple of decades in groundwater, um, when um, there was quite a controversy over the siting of a mega dairy and a lot of questions came up about our hydrogeology in this county, um, we decided that there were just so many questions that we needed answers for and we needed to study um, the hydrogeology in, in much greater depth, so to speak. And we took on this uh, water resource management plan, looking at both groundwater and surface water, trying to figure out the best management practices. The, the Prairie Research Institute and the Water Survey and the Ge Geological Survey have just been such an integral part of what we've done because we can go to them to get good, legitimate scientific information about the questions we have. In late 2007, early 2008, Joe Davis County, um, the county board, had to provide an advisory opinion on the siting of a large CAFO in the county. And one of the things that came up was whether or not it was in a karst area. And we had somebody from the Department of Agriculture kind of helping us through that process. and. I was on the county board at that time, and at one point he said, if you want to know about karst, you have to talk to Sam Pano at the State Geological Survey. And I always felt at that time that we needed to have a better conversation about the facts related to the hydrogeology. And when the league was doing work, and um, I about four years ago joined the league, um, Bonnie Cox, the president, and I talked about how could we bring this conversation to the county. And we early on talked again to the geological survey. Sam Pano came down and spoke to the league board and let us ask all kinds of questions. And from that, we decided we should have a formal presentation. Then he came down with Walt Kelly from the Water Survey and Don Kiefer from the Geological Survey. And they did a program, The Land and Water Beneath Us, which just talked about what they knew already about our area and the hydrogeology and what they didn't know and how we might try to find out that information. And so from there, we started working on sort of projects or ways to find answers. And they um, have been doing well sampling and spring sampling here to get data so that they can make determinations and characterize the hydrogeology. They have done um, analysis of the groundwater based on the spring sampling. And they helped us with our planning process. Whenever we had questions, we could go to them and ask questions. They'd explain it, make it understandable for us. Um, They've come here and done presentations to spread that knowledge and let other people ask questions. It's been invaluable. So for the science-based stewardship and evidence-based decision-making, we've relied on them for the evidence and, and also the translation of that scientific information into something that we can share locally and use as we identify best management practices and, and think about land use in our area to protect those resources. That's really what we're aiming for, that ability to do that well. And we need PRI and the scientists to help us make the right decisions.